Good afternoon, and this is Uncle Herb, the People Preacher. Today going to be a comprehensive study. I met an atheist that said that Jesus said that men are gods, and he used John 10.34 to justify this reasoning. Well, he's wrong, and today I will address why he's wrong. And here's the study that I've done. Did Jesus advocate that man is God in John 10.34? Let's look at John 10.34. Jesus answered a group of Jews and said, Is it not written in your law, I have said that you are gods? Does this mean that humans can become gods? There are some religious groups that use this verse to support their doctrine of the deity of man, and support their views that humans can become gods. My study would show four reasons John 10.34 should not be used to support this idea. First, such an interpretation is contrary to the overall context. Jesus in this passage is not speaking to the pantheists who believe that God is everywhere and everything is God, such as they do in some parts of India and some parts of Nepal, or the polytheists, who believes in many gods. Rather, he is addressing strict Jewish monotheists who believes that the only creator of the universe is God. Secondly, in context, Jesus called attention to Psalms 82 and 6, where human judges are called gods with a small g. His reason is that if God can call human judges gods with a small g, then how much more is appropriate that I, myself, the Son of God? Now, Jesus had just said in John 10.30, I and my father are one. Because of this statement, the Jews in John 10, 31, and 33 wanted to stone him because they thought Jesus was blasphemy, making himself out to be equal with God. So Jesus responded by quoting Psalms 82 and 6, a verse dealing with human judges, which says, I said you are gods, with a small g. Now, Jesus reason that if human judges can be called gods, with a small g, then why can't the Son of God be called God? Third, in Psalms 82 and 6, these judges were gods, with a small g, in the sense that they stood in God's place, making judgment in their court over matters of life and death. They were not called gods because they were actually divine beings, no. And Psalms 82 and 7 goes on to say, but you will die like men, and you will fall like every other Rulers. Four, many scholars believe, and I agree, that Asaph, who wrote Psalms 82, was to show judgment from both human judges and from God, and declare the strong bond between moral and physical order. It comments on the act of God rebuking the kings and unjust human judges called gods with a small g of Israel for not treating the poor with respect. This psalms end with a prayer for justice. Notwithstanding, it is clear that Jesus used John 34 to defend his own deity, not to advocate that man is God. I love you so much. 
And keep in mind, I'm going to continue to post studies and scriptures at the bottom of all of my video to strengthen your Christian life as well as mine. But to then, take care of yourself as well as take care of others. This is Uncle Herb, the People Preacher.